Hey everyone! Thanks for joining me. I'm Katie with So Cute by Katie, uh, located in Louisville, Kentucky. Today I'm going to be doing a video showing you how to finish a needlepoint stocking. So I am at my shop and this is um, an order that I'm doing for a uh, customer. She need appointed this stocking. This is a kit that you can buy online. Uh, the company is uh, Dimensions right there. So you can uh, order these kits. Um, but once you get it done, you have to get it turned into a stocking. So this beautiful needlepoint stocking um, needs to be turned into a stocking. So I just love all the needlework. So I'm going to show you how to finish your stocking. Um, the first thing that you want to do is make sure you uh, press your canvas, um, get it all flat because, you know, when you're working on it, you might, you know, crumple it in your hands. I know when I'm doing a uh, needlepoint, I kind of roll it and just get it to where I can work on it. Um, so in the kit, uh, it, her kit, it came with a piece of red felt and that's it. So I don't really like just putting the back on it because then you have these, um, you have to finish this edge. You really probably need to stitch a little bit higher on this than what she did. Um, I would probably stitch it a couple extra rows, but we're going to go ahead and line the canvas part um, just so it has a little bit more durability. Plus, you know, when you spend hours needle pointing, um, you want to spend a little bit of quality time finishing it. So let me uh, get you angled down here and show you what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so I just went and got some cotton. So the in um, cotton fabric, I'm just doing a white lining. Um, but what I want to do, I just laid this out here and cut it uh, the length of the stocking and get the gray line going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be stitching. This is the top of the stocking. Um, so I've got it on top of the stocking because I want to finish this edge. So the only thing I'm gonna do right now is sew um, and I'll flip it over when I'm sewing. Now this stocking has an angle, but this, I want to get this on the straight of the grain of the fabric. I don't want the fabric angled. So I'm just going to put a couple pins and I'm just going to be sewing right across um, this top portion first. So let me go ahead and do that. right in between the rows just grabbing that first row I want you to see this see how you can see the rows here I literally just stitch right in between the first and second row because that's really all I need so what this just did and I'm going to go press this, is it gave us a nice finished edge at the top. So then when we put the backing on, you don't just, you don't see any of the mesh canvas. So I've got this flipped over. So we're just going to press this. I'm going to take this over to the iron and press this down real quick. Okay. I'm going, I'm going to trim out, um, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to trim some of this seam allowance because we don't need all this in here. That's just going to remove some of the bulk as well. Okay. So now we have a finished edge on the top. And I've got this all smoothed out. So I'm going to be sewing on the top side. So now I'm just going to sew right inside, just as close as I possibly can. 
Um, actually, I take that back for the lining. I'm just gonna sew right in between, the, right on this white, just right up against the stitching, because we'll catch the other part when we um, sew the actual felt on. So I'm just gonna put some pins in to hold my lining straight. Keep it from shifting as I go around. I like to face my pins uh, in the direction that I'm sewing. So like the sewing machine will be coming down this way and I can pull them out from the back. There's not really a right or wrong, but that's just how I like to do it. I don't know when I started doing that, but it's just one of those things I do. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to stitch this because this is just putting a backing to our canvas. camera and just messed up. <laughs> All right, and back up a few stitches. I started getting out of the line. I'm just following the shape of the stocking, so done we just give this a, a lining okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this and leave you know probably a half an inch I'm just gonna eyeball this because we're just we don't need a ton but I don't but don't cut right against it so you need at least a half an inch around it so that you have a seam allowance to sew to so the felt Okay, so, so now we have a seam allowance of the canvas. And what we're going to do is lay our felt. We wanna put our stocking face down, even though there's not a right or wrong side to the felt, but the right side of the stocking. I'm going to get this up because what I'm going to do is the felt, we're going to just cut that off. I'm going to wait till I get this stitched. Okay. Take my pen. Now, what, how we're going to stitch this is you are going to come in just very closely on the edge. You want to be sewing on the needle point so that you don't see any of the white canvas, any of this seam allowance. So you're going to stitch just right because you've got plenty of seam allowance, but you don't want to see, see that. So you're actually going to sew 
just right inside that act, the needlepoint stitch, just right on that yarn part. I've got it like that. So we're gonna start here. We're going to do a little back stitch and then sew all the way around and then we will trim this off. Then we're gonna trim that and the felt. It, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to finish that um, because it's a, it won't fray or anything. So you can just cut that straight off. It can be a raw edge. And then we will end up making our hanger. So. Okay, I'm going to switch thread colors real fast. Um, for my bobbin. stitch right when you get started and like I said you're just going to be stitching right on the edge so you're catching the actual needlepoint part Okay, so as you can see, I wanna show you where that stitch line is. The outer stitch is just on the lining, so just right inside there. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, we're going to trim right next to this. Now we want to save this because we're going to make a little hanger to hang our stocking. And then right here, this is the top. I'm just going to cut right next to it, finish that edge off. If you want to use a rotary cutter, you can, but I would be very careful with a rotary cutter because you don't want to, um, what was, oh, I had a pen. I'm like, why is that not cutting? I had a pen under there. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to clip this curve so that it will turn very important otherwise it won't lay right so make sure you clip two but not through i would go around the toe and the heel as well because it is a curve but even though it's not inner but 
just kind of go around the whole bottom. It's not going to hurt anything. It will help uh, to lay flat once you turn it and press it. Okay, so as you can see, just a little just cut like that. Now we'll turn our stocking. your hand in there and press it out kind of just hand press that be careful with your iron and just make sure you want to you know use steam and everything but and as you can see, there's the back. Things in there. So now the only thing we need to do, one, I'm going to tr trim this um, inside right here. It's sticking up. Once we turn it, I'm just going to angle it down just so it's not sticking out. Just cut that off. So now you can't see that as it's. But we need a hanger because you got to be able to hang up your stocking. So just take your felt. And let's see, I'm going to do, that's probably, let's see how many inches this is. Probably, uh, I, I folded eight inches, so we've got a nice four inch hook. And I've got a nice straight edge here, so I'm going to use my rotary cutter for this one and cut that edge so it's nice and straight. Move this out of the way so I don't. So I'm just doing a one inch strip but the rotary cutter is nice because it just gives you a nice smooth because sometimes you can get a little jaggedy when you uh, use scissors. And then you're going to want to sew this to the seam. Um, let's see. So what I'm going to do, I want to open this up and show you. I'm going to open up this seam. And just sew it on the back side so that when it folds, and I've got it about an inch down, so it's it's down in there. I need to change my top thread real quick, and we'll sew that tab on. Change the thread. And you definitely want to stitch across and then reverse because you know your stocking is going to be holding things so you want it to be strong enough to not come undone. Trim the threads. Somebody's calling the shop. <laughs> We're not open yet. Okay, so that's where that is. Okay, so let me get my camera back up here. All right, so as you can see, the stocking. So I wanna show you that up close. So this is how I stitch that. Okay, it's just, it's on the back side. You'll have a little bit of stitching right there. Um, you want it on the back of the stocking, you know, so the toe, the opposite side of the toe here. Um, 
but now you have a way to hook it. So just make sure that you do so um, across and back, maybe, you know, maybe even three times. You just wanna make sure that it's on there good. But if you see inside here, you know, the inside of your needle point is fully lined. So it looks very professional and finished um, because the kit does not come with, you know, fabric like this. It, and you don't need anything super heavy. You're just wanting to give it a finished look, okay? And that is how you finish your needlepoint stockings for the kits. Um, if you wanted to, you could add cording. If you felt comfortable doing that, that would be super cute. But this is just the felt is what comes in the kit. So I hope you're ready for Christmas now and you know how to finish your stockings. You can make other stockings, you know, you can make your own just like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, thanks so much for joining me. And if you want to get notified, just hit the little bell icon and it will notify you when we have a new video. So thanks for so much for joining me in this how to finish your stocking video.